lot of new developments overnight in the attack on Paris. More raids and airstrikes overnight, plus the breaking news about the other terror attack that brought down a passenger plane with 224 people on board. ISIS is claiming responsibility for both Russia striking back hard and fast. Our whole team is on the story. World News anchor David Muir in Paris. And we begin with ABC's Brian Ross on the breaking news from Russia. Good morning, Brian. Well, good morning, George. The Russians this morning said the evidence was unequivocal that it was a bomb and a big one that brought down the passenger jet. And Russian President Vladimir Putin promised swift and severe retribution. The head of the Russian version of the CIA said it was an analysis of key parts of the plane and the baggage that turned up trace evidence of an explosive device. By the Russian estimate, the bomb was huge, with the equivalent power of more than two pounds of TNT that caused the jet, with 224 people on board, to break up in midair over the Sinai Desert. The director of what is called the FSB presented his findings this morning to President Putin, saying unequivocally it was a terrorist act. Putin then faced the cameras and vowed to track down those responsible for the murder of the people in the Sinai. We will find them at any point on the planet, he said, and we will take retribution. ISIS claimed responsibility for bringing down the jet within hours of it happening, and Putin vowed to use the full Russian military might against the bombers. It is believed to have been an inside job at the Egyptian airport from which the Russian jet departed. And this again will focus attention on security procedures at airports around the world, including in the United States. Russia this morning offered a $50 million reward for information on those responsible. And overnight, according to the U.S. military, the Russians conducted an aerial bombardment of the ISIS headquarters city of Raqqa, Syria. The strike included sea launch cruise missiles and long-range bombers. George? He had not gone after ISIS before, after other groups, but now he's going to be ruthless. That's right. Okay, Brian, thanks very much.